All right. All right, how are we doing, Palm Desert Food and Wine? Yes, everyone ready? All right, my name is Lauren. I'm from Monogram. We've been working in conjunction with Pacific Sales Kitchen and Home to create this lovely demo kitchen right here. Are you all ready to see Chocolatina, queen of the dessert? Perfect. All right, Chocolatina is the drag persona of pastry chef Martin Howard. She came to life in February 1996 at an event called For the Love of Chocolate, where her play on the adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, made such a hit, it appeared in the, sec the social section of the New York Times. So without further ado, please welcome Chocolatina. Are we on? Okay. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. You look stunned. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Put down the knitting, the book, and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Come taste the wine. Come hear the band. Come blow your horn. Start celebrating right this way. Your table's waiting. No use permitting some prophet of doom to wipe every smile away. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. I used to have this girlfriend known as Elsie, with whom I shared four sorted rooms in Chelsea. She wasn't what you'd call a blushing flower. As a matter of fact, she rented by the hour. The day she died, the neighbors came to snicker. Well, that's what comes from too much pills and liquor. But when I saw her laid out like a queen, she was the happiest corpse I'd ever seen. I think of Elsie to this very day. I remember how she turned to me and say, Chocolatina, what good is sitting all alone in your room? Right? Come hear the music play. Can you hear it? Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. And as for me, and as for me, I made my mind up back in Chelsea. When I go, I'm going like Elsie. Start by a Tomb. It isn't that long of a stay. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Only a cabaret, old chum. And I love a cabaret. Woo, come chase the line. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing? Are we ready to have fun? Are we ready to get crazy? Where are my crazy people? Crazy people. All right. Is anyone a little randy? A little randy. I know I am. So many cute boys here. I love it. All right. We're going to have to do a little demo, a cooking demo, but we'll get back to the music in a moment. So what we're going to do today is a little... Uh, French macaron demonstration. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself, because it's true, I'm a pastry chef by day, 
I am the original Miss Stonewall. So Stonewall had this little, everyone knows Stonewall, that little place in New York where the gay rights movement happened, blah, blah, blah. It's actually the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. <laughs> so it, for the 40th anniversary, they had started this little pageant, the Miss Stonewall pageant. Um, and I entered, and I won. Who knew? Who knew? So uh, anyway, I wrote this little song to sort of introduce myself to you. So we can get a little closer, we can let our hair down, we can drink some champagne. Did the champagne get out? All right, let us know if you need more. All right, we're going to go with number two. I have a little song to say, this is who I am. Hit it. The next song. You might recognize the two. Here's the story of a lovely lady who liked baking also wearing pretty frocks. She would dance and sing around her mother's kitchen and dream of sucking cocks. She learned makeup and fancy hairdos. It's that kind of show. Try to make herself as pretty as can be. Singing songs to entertain the people and laugh until they pee. Oh my God! Till the one day Stonewall had this competition. Chocolatina tried to win, it couldn't hurt. It would add another jewel to her tiara as New York City's kooky queen of the dessert. Queen of dessert, that's me. Queen of dessert. Chocolatina is queen of the dessert. Hello, hello. So now you know me, now you know me. A little history, a little Chocolatina history for you. All right. Wearing feathers when baking is probably not the best idea, so I'm going to take this off. They're a little warm as well. So let's just place this right over here. Not too close to the fire, but in case I need it later. Uh, so like I said, we're going to make French macaron. I have started a Chocotina's Le Patisserie. We're doing uh, American and French-inspired pastries infused with a little CBD, because you know that's, that's the hot thing now. It makes you healthy. I've even heard it cures cancer. Oh, my God. So that's why the, the pharmaceutical companies are all in an uproar. They're going to lose money, God forbid. But we're going to get healthy, and we're going to have fun doing it. All right. So anyway, do we all know what the French macaron is? It's that little sandwich cookie kind of deal. It's actually naturally gluten-free. It only uses almond flour. So if you, if you see a macaron, it should be gluten-free. I'm not going to guarantee, but mine are. Um, so to make the cookie, oh, that works. OK, good. All right. Today, we actually have the whip. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So you, the whip attachment to your, does everyone have a KitchenAid mixer, do we? Or some sort of stand mixer? I'm telling you, if you're serious about baking, it's great. You can turn it on, go get your cocktail, and then come right back. Speaking of a cocktail, if I could have some champagne, it would be lovely, right? You're all enjoying champagne. Oh, I'm up here. Thirsty like a whore. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh it's a, what a tiny cup that is. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lady of a certain size, I'm just going to say. So anyway, you all have the recipe right there. So what I've done is I put the egg whites in here. So we're basically going to whip the egg whites up. I'm going to crank that up. And in with your egg whites, you can put... Your cream of tartar, that helps uh, stabilize it. It's, it's, a, it's an acid. When you're, you're working with egg whites, it's always good to put a little acid into it to, in case there's any sort of fat in there, and then you will whip up. So that's what that does. A little salt. Always put a little salt in all your baked goods. Um, it makes it just all the more flavorful. I'm so what do we have over here? All right. That's not for me. OK. I'm going to have a little champagne. So anyway, mm, tasty. All right. So we're going to whip this up. We're going to add a little bit of that first amount of sugar that goes into this. That's probably not it. OK, wait a minute. There we go. So you're going to let that, it sort of makes a little meringue, a little meringue. Um, and so here we have our almond flour. Oh, look, the goods are coming out. All right. I wish I had a little powdered sugar, but I don't see it. All right, pretend like we have powdered sugar. I don't, it's, 
it's the road show. What can you do? So, uh, so while that's wi while that's whipping, I uh, I mixed together my uh, almond flour and my powdered sugar just to break up the lumps. It really just breaks. You can actually put it through the sifter if you like. Uh, it's not necessary as long as your lumps are broken up. And you kind of want to get this to a medium peak. Uh, medium peak. Do we have it on the camera? I think we do. Oh yes. Okay. So pretend like there's powdered sugar in there. Oh my goodness, look, it's so lump-free. All right. While that's whipping, why don't we do another song? Why don't we? Why don't we? I have a quick little number. Let's do a little song while we're waiting for this to whip up. DJ, hit it. Show me the next one. Oh. You know, because I'm looking for a guy with a little money, right? Now, who isn't? The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender, good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cork for every guy I see. Hey, big spender, spend. A little time with me. Oh, are you a big spender? I bet you are. You have a lovely friend. Would you like to have fun, fun, fun? How's about a few laughs, laughs, laughs? I can show you a good time. Let me show you a good time. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Sit down, please. Good looking, so refined. Say, so wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I pop my cork for every guy I see. Hey, big spender. Say it with me. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. Spend a little time with me. Ooh. How about it, Palsy? Ooh, you're so tall. Oh, look, the powdered sugar appeared. I know, like magic. Those kids are magic backstage. So look, our, we're perfect. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add my food coloring right now. That way you can tell exactly how much food coloring. You know, the macarons are kind of brightly colored, so feel free to add a lot. It's tightly sealed. Okay. So we're doing raspberries. So we want a nice red color. Oh, that's nice. There we go. So, you know, you, I like to, now I know the modern kids, they like sometimes like to do blue stuff and, you know, whatever. I like to match the color to the flavor. It sort of gives you an idea. See, because it's lovely pink. And what you have there is a raspberry and chocolate. Oh, look how lovely that is. Okay. So now I do one little thing that's different from the French. I stop it once it's fully whipped. I dump, I dump in my uh, almond flour and powdered sugar that I whisk together to break up the lumps. And just give it a little bit of, okay. Just whisk it a little bit. And then you fold it the rest of the way. Because really, the French try to make thing, ev everything so difficult. They really love, love to, anybody work for a French pastry chef or in a French restaurant? Anyone? No? You all are, are well employed and don't have to work in the restaurant industry, I guess? OK. Good. That's very smart of you. It's hard work, let me tell you. So, oh, this came out so much nicer today. I'm so excited. So it's a little bit loose. It's a little bit loose. Um, so what you want to do is, these are a lovely thing to have, disposable pastry bags. They're very easy. You can get them, I think you can get them at Michael's nowadays. You can even, maybe even at some supermarkets. Who even, who even knows? But the, the world has gone culinary crazy, so things are more readily available, and I really like that. You can do things yourself. It's really a, 
a very simple recipe. Now, the only thing is um, you have to let these set. So what we're going to do is going to pipe these out. And the kids have brought me my scissors. Like They, they are very good about that. Um, you could also use a, a tip. Sometimes I use a tip to make it even more perfect. But um, not really necessary. So you have this in your pastry bag. You can do any size, really. Just pipe out very easily like that. So you don't even get yourself dirty. La la la, lu lu lu. I usually have some background music. Oh, I don't. What's going on? I feel. All right. Look at that. Perfect. OK. So now what you want to do um, is just sort of bang them down a little bit to flatten them out, because you don't want them too, too fat. So we're going to just give it a little tap, a little spanky, you know. I know some of you boys out there. I know. I know you. I feel you. So now, what I would normally do is let that set a little bit. Now, here in the desert, it's very dry. so. You can get away with letting it set for like 30 minutes. Back in the East Coast, I spent most of my life on the East Coast, so we had to give it at least an hour. But here in the desert, I'm now in Denver, so the air is dry there as well. You can usually get away with 30 minutes. So let it set for 30 minutes, room temperature, and then you're going to throw it in the oven, 375, with a door ajar for three minutes. Ajar. All right. I think it's time for a song. I feel a song coming on. Oh, my God. So, kids, um, I, is it bikini season here year-round? I feel like it is. But you know what? I don't care because I like a guy with a little something extra, don't we, ladies? Anyone with me? Right? A little something extra to grab onto, right? Who needs those skinny bitches? I don't. So let's do a little number because this is what I say, right? I'm going to throw the cream in here. It's a little piano bar song I learned. Oh, I like it. This is one of my favorite piano from New York. Bigger is better. That's the way to widen your appeal. What's more delicious, a celery stock or a 10 course? Gourmet meal, bigger is better. That's a rule to make a girl feel great. What's more inviting, a one-room flat or a grand estate? Bring on a view, it's not so bad. Your man will learn to love it. You've got all you have ever had. In fact, you've got a lot more of it. Bigger is better. An ample shape keeps interest evergreen. Would you rather ride a pogo stick or a full stretch limousine? I may have some mileage on me, but I know how to handle the curves. And talk about your dual airbags. Bigger is better. That's the key to keeping out of hock. What sparkles more, a diamond chip or a 15? Carrot rock. Bigger is better. Large and light always gets my boat. What keeps you warm? I must grab my for a ch 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 chinchilla coat. When your figure starts to spread, that's no cause to hate it. I do what Siegfried did instead. Decorate it, celebrate it. Let's go, I need a bigger finish, oh my god. Bigger is better. Take 
like that tick and life keeps getting finer what floats your boat a dinghy or a full rigged luxury liner too much of a good thing is never enough come on baby surround your stuff and that is what i came out here to say even my message is heavy bigger is better so better get bigger today yeah and remember girls life is like a paycheck a generous figure's always nice yeah all right i told you we were gonna have fun i told you oh and i got the cream boiling so uh Part of what's on the inside of that, because you know those little, those little shells are very sweet, and sometimes they put a sweet filling in that that's really too sweet for my liking. So that's why I'm doing the little, a little ganache, which I boiled my cream and sugar. We have a little butter. I'll just pull that off. So it's boiling nicely. You want to pour that over your chocolate. We're going to let that set for about five minutes. In the meantime, I know what you're thinking. We're going to do another song. And you're right. <laughs> but I'm going to throw, so the other part of what's in the middle there. All right. Is the, it's the raspberry reduction. So we have raspberry puree. And then we have some sugar. And really, it's just, uh, it's, it's half the amount of sugar to the amount of puree. Um, and we're just going to bring that to a boil and let it reduce. So in the meantime, what's our next song? Okay, let's skip the next one. Let's go to Smash. We're going to do a little show. To Anybody see that show Smash? That was on TV, the little Broadway, right? It was fun, right? What happened? I don't know. But I loved it. So that's why I'm going to do a little number while this is reducing. Oh, it's a great big show tune. Let's do a little, little more volume. Round and round goes the wheel of love Some say like Russian roulette There's a jackpot I'm dreaming of I'm ready to place my bet And no need to beg, steal or borrow The future is looking bright Yes, I'm laying odds on tomorrow So let's start tomorrow tonight can't you feel, baby, we're in the chips? Tomorrow's a lucky day, yeah. I can feel gold at our fingertips. We'll prosper if we parlay, yeah. No time for sadness and sorrow. Together we'll fight that fight. Yes, I'm laying odds on tomorrow. So let's start tomorrow tonight. Don't need no clover, a lucky charm. That rabbit can't keep his foot. As long as we're walking arm and arm, it takes us out, feel so shut up and kneel. I know that we're on a winning streak. The future can't come too soon. Let's climb together to reach that peak. Then, baby, we'll shoot the moon. I'm high as Kilimanjaro With you, Jack, I'm ready for flight Yes, I'm laying on some tomorrow So let's start tomorrow tonight I'm stirring As long as we're walking arm and arm Aces I feel so sure Let's climb together to reach that peak Then baby we'll shoot the moon I'm a highest Kilimanjaro With you Jack I'm ready for flight Yes I'm laying us on tomorrow So let's start tomorrow tonight Let's start tomorrow
alt. I think I need some champagne. When your balls are tucked way back, it's, that note's so easy. Oh, my God. I told you it's that kind of show. Don't be shocked. So, look, this induction oven is really cranking. Does anyone have an induction oven or stove top or both? Induction stove top? Anyone? I highly recommend them. I highly recommend them. You can smell it, right? It boils so quickly. And this one's quite fancy. It's got all these colored lights and stuff. Could turn that on as a disco if you wanted. So that's reducing. So we're back to the ganache. So the ganache has sat about five minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to whisk gently in the center. We're trying to make an emulsion with the cream and the chocolate and the butter. So you just sort of whisk gently in the center. You start a little emulsion. And, then, and I believe that what we use is the, uh, the Girardelli chips which are readily available nowadays. And it's a, it's a good, decent quality chocolate that you can get in the supermarket. So, um, and it works quite well. If you get the 60% for the, for the ganache, it works quite well for this. So once you get an emulsion going, you're just going to whisk the rest of that in there. Like so. Oh, that's boiling so nicely. Did we have our samples? Did we have our samples? How is that? Good. Good. Yeah, so uh, where I add the CBD when I do the, the CBD version is uh, I add it to either the, the ganache or the uh, raspberry reduction once it's cooled. So see, that's nice and smooth and shiny. Voila. You can also use this to make truffles, which we make at the patisserie. Um, so I'm going to take another pastry bag. This is so good, let me tell you changes your life. Um, anywhere from 5 to 10 milligrams per cookie. Um, that way, if you're really feeling bad, you can eat six of them at a time, <laughs> which is better for us. So anyway, so I'm going to let this cool off a little bit over here on the slab. Looks like this is boiling away. It's nicely reduced. So I'm going to turn that off, hopefully. Okay, there we go. The lights are out, but no one's home. Okay. So a quick way to put, to cool your sauces or whatever, if you have a, a fruit sauce or any sort of sauce you want to cool quickly, to slip it into an ice bath and just stir it occasionally, and it really cools it off quite quickly. So let me check in our fake oven, see how that's going. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. So uh, like I said, we leave it in there for uh, three minutes with three th 375. I left the door ajar. Then we shut the door, turn it down to 325 for three more minutes, turn it, and then three more minutes. So a total of nine minutes. The first part is with the door ajar at 375 to form that nice shell you wet, and then the when you shut it, it sort of puffs up and makes those feet that you want so much in the, uh, on the macaron. So let's do, a, let's do a little trolley song, shall we? DJ. Oh, right? I know. Who's excited? I am. Does anyone know what movie this is from? Anyone? Anyone? Come on. Maybe it's St. Louis is right. Yes. There's a little floral part right now. I brought the munchkins to sing, you can tell. Cocktails, cheers everyone. We have our are we still drinking? Good. I'm glad to see it. Did anyone see A Star is Born? Not as good as the Judy Garland version, though. I'm just going to say. Right? Am I right? No. You like the Gaga version? Oh, well. I'm going to do a little Judy Garland for you. Because after all, she was part of that whole Stonewall situation. She had just died, and the Queens were not having it. She was lying in state up in midtown New York, and the Queens downtown were rioting at Stonewall. It was, don't get us angry. 
Don't get us angry. Remember, the boy was running for the trolley. With my high starch collar and my high top shoes and my hair piled high up on my head. I went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and lost my heart instead. With his light brown derby and his bright green tie, he was quite the handsomest of men. I started to yen, so I counted to ten, and I counted to ten again. What's a girl to do but count? Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Thank you! Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brake. Thump, thump, thump went my heart strings. When he smiled, I could feel the car shake. You felt it too, didn't you? He tipped his hat and took a seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped upon my feet. Size 12, he asked my name. I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death and vice versa. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to go, then I started to know how it feels. When the universe reels. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not like it used to be, is it? You used to be able to be a nice boy on a trolley. You'd even be a top, for Christ's sake. Now you're lucky to be the crack or bottom on that eight train in New York. It's so sad. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop when my heart shrinks. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand. And as if it were planned, he stayed on with me. And it was grand just to stand with his hand holding mine to the end of the line. That's right, bitches. End of the line. Trolley song, kids. Oh, God. I know. What could be gayer than that? Come on. Oh, I got wings now. Okay. Oh, I like it. All right. I'll leave it there. All right. Right? It's cute. All right. Watch out. The oven's hot. Oh, God. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, God. So this is what they look like when they come out. Champagne? Okay. Could have another splash of champagne, baby. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't even know. We need to promote these people. Yalupa. How do we know this one? It's quite tasty. Didn't you enjoy it? All right. Come on up if you need more. I've got more. All right. Someone didn't like it. Oh, you want more? All right. One moment. Alexis, you have more? Because that's, that's for me. I'm just going just gonna to say. Got to love Alexis. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's nice and, s nice and stiff, right? Okay. You have dirty minds out there. I like it. I like it. So that's thickened up nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this into a, pastry, a paper pastry bag. Now, this is one of the most valuable skills. Excuse me, she's a lady. She's burping. <laughs> um, so you take, a, you take a, a rectangular piece of parchment paper. There we go. Oh, the sommelier has come out. That's nice. She's here to help you. The wine lady. Okay. So uh, we're going to make a right triangle. So I kind of divided this in half diagonally, and then I'm going to cut it. Ooh, these knives are very sharp. Wow. Let's take that home with me. I don't know. <laughs> Not down there, though. It might get messy. All right. So to make a paper pastry bag, which I'm telling you, you really need to know this. Um, so we're going to make the tip across from the right angle. So I'm going to hold it like this. 
and then my tip is going to be down here. So what I'm going to do is bring this around and form a tip at the bottom there, kind of scooch it, scooch like that, and I'm going to hold the tip. Ladies, I know what you know what I'm talking about. And gentlemen, too. All right. So then you just fold that over, and voila, you have a, you have a cornet, as some people like to say in, in the French. Where am I? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put this. Is this parchment paper? You could actually use wax paper. It's not quite as stiff, but it works in a pinch. Um, parchment paper is a little stiffer. Sometimes that's what you need. I never, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I don't. I'm a lady. So then you just cut it off wherever you like. Uh, I like a medium sized hole. Again, don't start with me. Don't start with me. Okay, so this is chilled. Um, this could be a little cooler, but just because we're almost done, and I'm going to. So what I did was I, I put a little bit around the outside, like that. And then I put the raspberry in the center. Voila. And the, and the chocolate actually is going to get, it's going to harden better than the, uh, than the raspberry. The raspberry sort of soaks into the cookie, and the, and the chocolate ganache makes a nice ring for that. So that's what you have. Voila. Um, we've got more champagne. Apparently, it's come out. Shall we do a closing number, shall we? All right. That's my, uh, my little French macaron with the CBD. Not today, but that's it. Let's do, a, let's do a last number, why don't we? Close it out with a little love song from the 70s. I've heard this one. Oh, get ready. I want to see some dancing. Come on. Let's get crazy. Where are my crazy people? I thought you were here. Oh, boy. I need my boa. What's on my back? <laughs> His name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair. And a dress cut down to there. She would merengue and do the cha-cha. And while she tried to be a star, Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor. They worked from eight till four. They were young and they had each other. Who could ask for more at the Copa? Copa Cabana. Hottest bar north of Havana. Here at the Copa. Copa Cabana. Music and fashion were all. At the Copa, they fell in love. Oh, yes, it was sweet young love. But then there was trouble. His name was Rico. He wore a diamond. He was escorted to his chair. He saw Lola dancing there. And when she finished, he called her over. But Rico went a bit too far. Tony sailed across the bar and then the bunches flew. Chairs were smashed in two. There was blood and a single gunshot, but just two shot. Who at the Copa? Copa Cabana. Hottest bar north of Havana. Here at the Copa. Copa Cabana. Music and fashion were always the fashion at the Copa. Let's conga, let's do it. Copa. Join on. Cabana. Copa. Let's do it, kids, come on. Cabana. Copa, Cabana, we're going out. Music and passion. How do we do? Oh, good. Looks good. Dance party on stage. Come on. Lola, she was a showgirl, but that was 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Now it's a disco, but not for Lola. Till in that dress she used to wear, 
faded feathers in her hair. So refined, drinks herself half black. She lost her youth, she lost her to Stay on stage, come on, dance party. At the Copa, the Bacabana. Hottest spot north of the Bacabana. Here at the Copa, the Bacabana. Music and fashion were always the fashion at the Copa. I'm out of breath. Don't fall in love, kids. Come on, gonna get hurt. Don't fall in love, darling. Don't fall in love. Oh, God. Don't fall in love. We're gonna. Let's do a little shimmy. My dancers left me. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to follow us on Facebook, it is Chocolatina's Lay Patisserie on Facebook. Also, I am Chocolatina Q Dessert on Facebook, Pastry Chef Martin Howard on Facebook, and also Chocolatina's Lay Patisserie.com. You can check us out there if you need cards. My business partner, Ke partner Ken, is right here. You can come to me. If you need more champagne, let me know. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day.